Twitter asked by the government to block 1,178 accounts for allegedly spreading misinformation on the farmer protests and provocative content said today that the orders were inconsistent with Indian law and that for some accounts it would restrict access within India instead of an outright ban. Now, in a blog listing the action it has conveyed to the centre, Twitter noted that the values that underpin the open internet and free expression are increasingly under threat around the world. And in an escalating confrontation, the government replied on coup, which has been pitched as Twitter's Indian rival. Uh, calling the blog unusual, the government said it would share its response soon. But significantly, Twitter has said that as far as activists are concerned, political leaders are concerned, or journalists, they will not, in the present circumstances, be blocking accounts. And that's a, an indicator of how serious this is in terms of an escalation with the government. Shobha there has been tracking this very, very closely and joins us now. Thank you, Shobha, very much for being with us. Sure. Now, the Twitter statement is quite, uh, it's quite incredible, considering that they have such a huge presence in India. It seems that they don't want to count out to the government, at least not yet. I'm just going to read a line. We do not believe that the actions we have been directed to take are consistent with Indian law in keeping with our principles of defending protected speech and freedom of expression. We have not taken any action on accounts that consist of news media entities, journalists, activists and politicians. Where is this headed? Well, it seems like an all-out war that um, the government is not likely to win, quite honestly, because the genie is out of the bottle. We know... It, everything tells us that those 140 characters can be lethal. Uh, one tweet can start a revolution and no government in the world has been able to challenge it sufficiently. Instead, I think what we should be doing is handling unpleasant comments, any kind of controversy with more maturity ourselves. Instead of overreacting, Twitter is not going to uh, toe the line. They're not going to behave like, you know, penitent schoolboys and schoolgirls and say, OK, government of India, we are so sorry. It's not going to happen. So this kind of a, a, an appeal even, uh, or even a request from our government uh, is not showing a democracy, a democratic state in a wonderful light. I mean, they're not going to listen to despots. What, what are we planning to do? How do we counter this? because their statement is very unambiguous. And, and if you ask me, I mean, the freedom of expression is really non-negotiable in a democracy. You can't be selective about it. You can't say, we will choose the freedoms that our citizens are entitled to. We decide how much freedom is good and how much is bad. We decide what's harmful content, what is uh, permissible, etc. So it's, it's gonna be a tough war and they have taken a position. So let's see what uh, we do next. We know how we reacted to the Rihanna tweet. Had we yes. just ignored it, come on, it wouldn't have generated sort of worldwide uh, mockery and um, lots of memes which we could have avoided by just ignoring an entertainer. She had her time. She had, there was one tweet and she probably moved on to something else. But there we were, the entire government machinery focusing on countering what she had said. Right. What? deal with it with uh, more sen sense. We were reacting to the sovereign <laughs> republic of Rihanna. That's what we were doing. Yeah, absolutely. So Shobha, uh, uh, the, the, the news is that apparently you'll be moving to the new platform Ku. Is that correct? <laughs> absolutely not. I don't know who on earth has uh, mentioned that. No, no, but I'm joking. No... I'm being facetious. You're not, right? <laughs> but it no, seems but bizarre, that's... doesn't it, that there would be a counter Twitter? It's crazy because... Well, you can try it, and there may be a few extremely pliant people out there who are busy, you know, following the government's diktat and using amicable tweets to, to, to make a point in the Rihanna controversy. Maybe they have shifted their account, but uh, there's no question. I mean, Twitter is here to stay, uh, whether we like it or not, and it's impossible to, to fight and wage a war against a powerful platform like this, which... In their, in their statements, they've talked about what they believe. It's their mission statement. Deal with it. Deal with it the best you can. Or behave like the Chinese or behave like some other despotic countries. Tell your people, tell the citizens of India that, you know, this is how it's going to be. And we are going to be selectively people uh, picking on accounts, people, journalists, public thinkers, public intellectuals who don't, uh, you know, play footsie with us. We are going to request uh, Twitter to 
pull down their accounts, not, not let them tweet, etc. It's a it's a war. No one's going. I mean, the government is not going to. So, sorry, Shobha, there happening. was a tweet earlier today, and I found the the power dynamic in the streets uh, incredible. This was yeah. on a meeting which was supposed to be held between Twitter and uh, the, uh, the Ministry of Electronics and IT officials, where they have tweeted today, the, upon the request of Twitter seeking a meeting, the Secretary of IT was to engage with senior management. In this light, a blog post published prior to this engagement is unusual. What I find bizarre is what stops a blog post from coming in the way of, a, of an engagement. It's like you meet us first, then you blog what you need to. Why can't it be the other way around? <laughs> You know, the whole thing, the you dynamics of before you are, met me, that's terrible. You can't be doing that. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. And that's the gift of this it, tweet. It's it's really baffling because the, the whole management of this uh, controversy or the crisis, as the government might like to call it, has been ham-handed and it's been completely clumsy. So I really don't know what they're planning to do next. You can't so, sit on your high horse and expect, uh, you know, Twitter or any other platform in the world to come around and say, okay, government of India, we'll do as we are instructed by you. It doesn't work like that. But it's not just Twitter now, is it, Shobha? It's also YouTube, content put on YouTube. Uh, a, a lot of uh, companies and Facebook, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the dozens, not dozens, I'm sorry, the thousands of requests to take off content, not just what people type, but also video as well. Some of it very legitimate. That's not in debate. But a lot of yeah. it is utter, utter rubbish. Uh, and yet, despite what the laws say, this is not just a trend. This is what the government does in our country more than any other country, perhaps. Yes, but the point is that either, you know, it's like saying uh, it's about like the Lycra ad. Either you have it or you don't. So it's like saying either we believe in freedom of expression or we don't. And where does one draw the line and who draws that line? It's going to be very hard to keep filtering and keep saying, okay, this is okay, this is not okay. This is going to incite violence. Uh, these are, uh, you know, anti-nationals uh, and these are people from across the border. These are people who are misusing the freedom of expression in India for propaganda. Yes, all of it may be completely true, but how do you counter it? Today, it's a, it's a question of, uh, you know, uh, platforms like Twitter, Facebook, etc., are are out there, and you. It's next to impossible to dictate rules and regulations uh, that you'd like them to, you know, sure. adhere to. But Shobha, let me ask you this: uh, Isn't it also strange? Isn't it also strange that the Maharashtra government would uh, order a, you know, its own inquiry to look into? conspiracies by celebrities and sports stars for tweeting whatever it is. So, you know, it's a conspiracy or tweet. If you have tweeted something, it is a conspiracy. If I have tweeted something, it is a conspiracy. One government will go after you, another government will go after me. That's the state in yes. India today. And that needs to Absolutely. be condemned also what Maharashtra has done. Completely, because this is, uh, you know, selective targeting. And uh, these are the very celebrities created by this very government in Maharashtra at some point or the other, uh, the previous government, whoever has uh, created a roster of celebrities who, who tweeted amicably, well, it's their right to do so. Who can, who can tell a Sachin Tendulkar or a Lata Mangeshkar or any of them that, hey, listen, uh, you have no business to be saying that and supporting what you did. It is as much as we are defending freedoms, freedoms are for everybody. That includes even those who the government uh, in Maharashtra may consider as part of uh, some sort of a conspiracy uh, favoring uh, the government uh, at the center. Even if that is so, they still have the right to go ahead and tweet as they choose. And this inquiry is meaningless. It is seeking publicity. It is seeking to draw attention, to play politics. And uh, well, the controversy itself is dead and over. So, sure. you know, get over it. So, Shobha, lovely speaking to you. Thanks so much. Apparently, there will now yeah. be a meeting, possibly a virtual one, between the Twitter and, uh, and the government. Uh, well, hopefully, it both. results in, in, in a real change on the ground in, in that equation. Thank you very much, yeah. indeed.